Recently, Khabib's manager Ali Abdelaziz told TMZ Sports that Justin Gaethje said no to fighting Conor McGregor after Khabib suggested it to him. Justin said no. Khabib told me to tell Justin to go fight Conor. Justin said no. Listen, we dictate. We dictate this. Conor right now, it's, he can be a backup fighter. He can go make win and he can maybe make some money. But at the end of the day, that's the two champion. He's not even number three, he's number four or five. Like, Connor is like, you know, he can go fight Nate, he can go fight Miles Vidal. We're not interested in fighting him. He needs to get some win. He needs to, he needs to fight some good opponent. Conor McGregor reacted and reposted the article on his Twitter. He then posted these emojis. At GFC Fight Island 2, Davison Figueredo defeated Joseph Benavides via Rene Kuchok to become the new UFC flyweight champion of the world. Henry Sahuda reacted and posted this on his Twitter saying, Congrats to the second interim UFC champ this week, at Davison Figueredo. He followed up with the real champ is getting his hair cut. Here's what Davison Figueredo had to say about his performance. My brakes were broken in there so I couldn't really slow down and after that first knockdown I knew that I had to capitalize on that and I knew I had to keep going. I'm a knockout artist, everybody knows that and we put together that record with with a lot of hard fights and you know for anyone that wants to come in and challenge me and fight me just be prepared because I'm a knockout artist. After that first knockdown I knew that I had to capitalize, capitalize on him. I knew I had to dominate him and he was able to get out of some positions on the ground and then I, I threw another knockdown and I just needed to finish him and, and continue doing what I was doing. I want to dominate my division and you know I think a lot of fighters think that fighting is just going out there and throwing punches and getting into fights but I think you need to have a game plan, you need to fight intelligently and, and that's the kind of fighter that I want to be. Here's what Joseph Benavides had to say about his second loss to Davison Figueredo. I mean, there's no quit in me. You know, I've never quit. You know, this is my fourth title shot. It takes a lot of perseverance and no quit to get there again and again and again. Even from the one, this one to the last one, that was some of the hardest points of my life. Like the second to the third one, going through 10 guys, 10 fights, that's what I do. I love to do that. I'm prepared to do that. But what I had to face even just the last fight with, you know, everything that was out, kind of out of my control, that was so hard on me mentally. So to come back from that, I remember the way I felt after that last fight and I couldn't control it. And it's like, how do I do everything perfect? And like something weird still happens. like. I was like, just obviously not broken. I never wanted to quit, but that that really challenged me. So there's no quit in me, man. Like I always wondered what I would do, like if something was sunken, I'd be like, would I tap? I mean, why not? You know, like you get out of the, you're gonna get choked anyway. But I guess I didn't. I didn't know. I don't know. I mean, I'll never quit. You know, doing anything. So I've always just tried to be the best. I've always tried to be the best I can be. And that's why, you know, this, this I can't feel sorry for myself or accept, or, and I can accept, you know, cause I had the best preparation, the best team. I felt good. I felt ready. I left no stone unturned, you know, and, uh, and met a better, younger, you know, freaking animal that was better than me this morning. Here's what Dana had to say about Davison Figueredo's performance. Pure violence. That, that was, you know, no controversy in this one. So, uh, you know, we have a pretty, we have pretty nasty champions in, in, in those two divisions now. So, I mean, look, look at how good this guy looked tonight. Look at what he did ton of controversy in the first fight, you know, from weight to headbutts, you know, no controversy in this one. This guy came in and said, did what he said he was going to do against the, the number two ranked guy in the world. He looked damn good doing it. Kelvin Gastelum lost to Jack Hermanson via heel hook in the first round. Kelvin Gastelum reacted to his loss and posted this on his Twitter saying, Truly embarrassed guys. I'm sorry. My team. My family. At the UFC. At Dana White. At Mick Maynard. You may encounter many defeats, but you must not be defeated. In fact, it may be necessary to encounter the defeats so you can know who you are, what you can rise from, how you can still come out of it. Here's what Jack Hermanson had to say about his performance. Uh, you know, uh, he... Uh, I missed the first attempt and then he 
came back into me and uh, I was thinking that he was gonna disengage but uh, he wanted to go again and uh, it just gave me another chance where I could lock it in a little bit better. A hundred percent, you know, uh, people don't know that but uh, the Helux has been a part of my game for a long time but you don't see me end up on the bottom so much and that's why you haven't seen the Helux so much uh, before. Uh, should I end up there again, you're gonna see another Helux. <laughs> <laughs> what the f that is so awesome thank you okay so now would be a good time to thank my supporters thank everyone for the support as you can see i'm getting looked after here in quarantine and that's unreal but leading into the fight and after the fight you know the, the support's been incredible and uh i've been saying you know i fight for you guys you know i don't fight for myself I, you know I, I don't just fight for my legacy you know it's much bigger than that i fight for my family you know that's obvious i fight for my team you know i fight for my supporters i fight for australia i fight for the my macedonian community that's backing me all the time the greek community everyone everyone that backs me and everyone that's been supporting me i fight for you guys that's why i refuse to lose and that's why i was always going to bring that belt back home to australia so thank you again for your support on to the next let's get it done I will be celebrating when I get home, so uh, be ready for that. I'll give everyone a shout, let everyone know what's happening with that. So again, thank you. I appreciate it so much. All right, Marsh. Hi, guys. Brett Johns here with the team. Just come off that win. Uh, I'm not particularly very happy with the performance, but happy to get the win. I want to thank my team back home, Adrenaline Fight Night, James Wallace and team there. Thank you. I want to thank the boys who have sacrificed their time and effort through this COVID-19 pandemic. The boys at SMMA, thank you, Richard Shaw, Carl Parker, Owen Elliott, Jack Shaw, Levi, Scotty, Chris Edwards, every, all the boys. Thank you so much. God bless you all. See you soon. Camry and Beth. <laughs> there he is, he's got no idea. Well, that's not him. What am I saying? Sorry, Anthony. <laughs> Alright, there's Giordano. And he's looking for his shoe. What? I have no idea. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, time. Nice. Come on. That's it. Get it. Come on. 15 seconds. Come on.